All right, let's get into WWF SmackDown for February 24th. Don't look at Tony go. Wait, what are the lyrics? Everybody on the ground. Everybody on the ground. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you want. It's fine. This was almost 22 years ago. Oh man, <laughs> I don't wow. want to talk about it anymore. And I watched crazy. it live. Wow, I I probably did too. Honestly, I yeah, two thousand was a super were. hot year for for WWF. Honestly, yeah, I mean, most, fucking... honestly, if you look at the ratings, we're gonna go over that here in a minute. Uh, yeah, most people were watching WWF. Yeah, and they were definitely watching this fucking episode too. Now, before we get into the episode, let's go over some of the Observer stuff from around that time. Oh, Observe hell, this yeah. brother Y two K, of course, two thousand. Oh my god. Uh, February 21st, Observer says there are some major rumors regarding mm -hmm. the future of All Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, no. It's been reported that Mitsuharu Masawa, the company president, and Motoko Baba, the owner, aren't getting Holy along. Shit. I actually, you know what's funny? That's his real name? I know. I, <laughs> I always just called him Baba. His, but his first Motoko name's not Baba. Giant. <laughs> Motoko Baba. Huh. <laughs> That's I don't crazy. Like that. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Yeah, why did he just not write Dave? <laughs> why did he just write <laughs> Giant <laughs> Baba? <laughs> why did he write that? Anyways, I don't know. Uh, Masao and Baba are not getting along, and this may split into no. two new groups with a lot of the people going with Masawa, since the name Japanese wrestlers have all backed him in previous power struggles against the Baba family. Hmm. Insiders are saying very little about this, though. Uh, of course, this would lead to the creation of Pro Wrestling Noah. Holy shit. Which is Whoa. pretty insane. That is actually like in, fucking insane. When you insane. look back in time and, and how all this kind of played out and stuff. I wonder, what do you th what issues do you think they had? You think there was like not enough coffee in the building or something like that? Or what do you think I don't know. Had? You know, uh, Japanese promotions are so closed door. Yeah. I'm not sure if there was any. I, I'm sure if we looked I'd into it a little know. further. Yeah. Maybe we can follow up on it next week or something, like the creation sure. of Noah. Yeah. Um, because as far as I know... um. I, I don't I actually don't know too much about yeah, I know I know that there was struggles or like I knew that sure. this but that's as far as I knew you know <laughs> Baba just won't stop slapping me I'm leaving <laughs> from what I understand maybe <laughs> Giant Baba was harder to get along with than um, Giant Baba's and, wife apparently okay. a lot of the wrestlers like Giant Baba's wife oh. more than they like Baba um, <laughs> yeah. from what I read <laughs> <laughs> this is Baba <laughs> And I know one guy that would definitely have gone. To Who's Noah. that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. I keep laughing. Um, <laughs> on the February 13th Gaia show at Cork and Hall, yes. the main event saw Aja Kong keep the Triple AW title, beating Kaoru in a match where Kong juiced her right arm with a 15 centimeter cut, and oh Kaoru had her God. front teeth knocked out. Whoa! Whoa! What's that the on hell? tape? Yeah, that I tape feel like that? we should look that up. Yeah, and let's watch, watch that. Yeah. Let me write that down. What was that again? Run that by February thirteenth. Guy yeah. show at Cork and Hall. All right. Yeah, that sounds awesome. ECW on its MSG Network show <gasps> ECW. promoted ECW. like crazy yeah, the releasing were. of the ECW video game on uh -oh. February fifteenth with an appearance of Rob Van Dam and Tommy Dreamer at Software <laughs> Inc. in New York, which drew Whoa. a reported two thousand fans. Holy shit! Wow. Okay. ECW's it, gates were actually pretty insane. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you was look that the back, first game, or did it say? It does not say. Um, no, it just says a video game. Okay. Um, but looking back at the gates for ECW, you know, a lot of the times when we look back at ECW, they were running uh, either a baseball stadium, or, sure. Um, you know, they're running uh, a lot of people for some reason. You know, it's funny. The Hammerstein is like a it's like an ECW thing, but they didn't even really run Hammerstein that often. Not too crazy, no. Like you know, <clears throat> they didn't start running yeah. like crazy till the end. Yeah, right. Um, but you know, like they were drawing, they were drawing like two thousand people in gyms, like just like high school gyms. Yeah, they were the only company to sell out arenas and go out of business. <laughs> yeah, like up. that. You, they fuck man. <laughs> like yeah, that's that seriously insane. But that game is a uh, hardcore revolution that came out February seventeenth, two thousand. Yeah, that game. Uh, those games suck. Sorry, <laughs> the whole suck. acclaim <laughs> engine sucked. So Johnny know. Yuma loves those games. He dies by those games. I'm wow, really? To go to, yeah, you can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, WCW wanted Bret Hart on the Germany tour to do his interviews on the show as a heel. Bret Hart, oh. who was the most popular wrestler in Germany for most of the nineties, thought the idea was nuts. 
and went out there and immediately got a huge face response. So he decided to just cut a face promo instead. <laughs> wow. Brent going into business for himself. How do you feel about that, Tony? Yeah, son of a bitch. Man, Sean would never do that. <laughs> Sean would do exactly what Vince asks and stay to it, you know? Yep. I think you might be right. Exactly. Sting has pulled himself off a run of house shows. Uh, Meltzer okay. writes, please don't ask me why he's allowed to do these things like that and still get paid while he gets paid. <laughs> Creative control in the contract, right? Sting Sorry. responds, fuck you, Dave. <laughs> uh, Kyoko Inoue became the first woman to win a men's championship in Japanese wrestling oh, wow. on February 25th at Cork and Hall, winning the WEW tag team titles with Koto Fuyuki for the FMW promotion, beating H and Mr. Gonosuke. Wow, no shit, H? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. sweet. That's awesome. Shouts yeah. out. You know, we that that match is probably out. crazy, too. We should maybe check I'd, that one out. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to write that one. What date was that again? <laughs> February 25th, yeah. 2000 at Cork and Hall. Wow. Yeah, we, I think DPW needs to run fucking Cork and Hall. <laughs> I, th- I agree. We also need to run Shinkiba. <laughs> yeah. We, I have a lot of arenas, actually. We're gonna yeah, get yeah, let, yeah, yeah. Anyone, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, go out there. <laughs> if I see you know, if I see Brendan out there at the fucking Shakira oh, first with, with the, the towels. towels, holy fucking shit, that'd be insane. That would be crazy. And the little and the kid, yeah, the, the kids, kids out there too. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, Big Japan announced that it was working with the New Jersey-based Combat Zone Wrestling Based and on John what? Danzig. Would be coming no, in March. Hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> Big Japan would sell. Also, would be selling CZW videos. Huh? Yeah. So they uh, they did a lot John together, Dance. and then John Zandig. No, it uh, says John <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty sure Meltzer always wrote Danzig <laughs> on every one of them. Gabe he never. <laughs> That CCW Big Japan fucking thing actually, I I imagine did pretty fucking well for CCW, and then I'm pretty sure Zandig fucked that all up. But like, Zandig got figures out of that. They were on like uh like soda cans in Japan. Oh, like, you know I have whoa, seen those figures. See. Yeah, yeah. So like I have them. Of course I fucking do. Uh, you have John yeah. Danzig. I got, he, had, he had he had uh two That's single his Japan ones. Japan name. And then he had two uh two two packs with Kasai. So like yeah, they were like yeah, whoa, pretty sweet, actually. the Char Pro. I wonder how they yeah. worked that out. I have no fucking it, idea. They were yeah. just, they started, what, 99 CZW? CZW, yeah, yeah, yeah. So within their first year, they got a Big Japan deal? I, that's like, I don't know, that's yeah, kind of crazy may, I, looking back. I think it might have been from, uh, maybe I think maybe Madman Pondo was the one that got that, because I think he was like, you know, kind of one of the big, quote unquote, backyard names, so he was like doing Deathmatch and stuff. I think he was starting to do stuff with CZW, and then maybe he patched that together. Who are hmm. we going to get to patch that together? <laughs> I'm going to have to reach out to Madman Pondo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to put something together here. Uh, Big Japan is also promoting an international extreme deathmatch tournament in April. Whoa. That's awesome. That deathmatch death tournament sounds awesome. Yeah. Especially like around like Halloween. That'd be crazy. Yeah, they sound fucking great. Uh, Bagwell from WCW <laughs> is claiming on his website. What? Just Bagwell? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he wrote here. All Bagwell right, is claiming on his website that he's demanding to be paid what he's worth by WCW or that on March 1st, he is going to ask for his release. <clears throat> Holy shit. Wow. Meltzer writes, I'm not sure what the going rate these days is for a 1.97 quarter hour but it sounds to me like he's asking for a pay cut. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is, this is the observer. This is not Fuck a, you, Bagwell. F4W Fuck you. newsletter. Yeah, this no. is Holy hell. Meltzer. Wow, he's Now gone. listen to this shit. WrestleMania will be an expanded 12-hour pay-per-view package for $49.95. I remember this. With a three-hour actual show for $34.95. I, I swear they had like a it was like a specific like channel for the WrestleMania. It was like a twenty four hour loop of just fucking WWF shit until says WrestleMania. The, oh, really? the twelve wow. hour show will consist of an eight hour pregame show Maybe, and a okay, one hour right. post game show. I genuinely remember this. Like it, wow. it says, anyone who buys the twelve hour package will also get a best of WrestleMania home video. Well, I'm telling you, I didn't buy it. But I saw it. (laughs) It was there. (laughs) So take that for what you will. (laughs) And then the last bit of information here is The Rock might be up for a part in a new movie called The Mummy Mm. 2. Huh. Interesting. Was it going to be a mother? 
That's awesome. <laughs> I think he's going to be some sort of king. <laughs> ah, nah, Jimmy King. That turned out to be a super big role for him. Yeah, like, what if that hadn't come along? Like, would he, like, wonder, like, how that would have went? Like, yeah, it really was... opened up the door for him a lot, which is insane. Yeah. You know, that movie is like, it, that's the if start. that movie released today, it would do nothing. You know no what way. I mean? Yeah, but back no in the way. time, Scorpion King was a fucking huge movie. All right, let's get into the actual episode here oh, of yeah. SmackDown. That oh, we're baby, watching. oh, baby. Ooh, we have yeah. a cold open here. The DX Express is here. Oh, hell yeah. The, and it's red. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What's yeah, well, wrong that doesn't last, last very long, so. No, it does not. But, like, I, I, can't paint the motherfucker. Your whole, your whole thing is green, bro. Your whole thing this is like green cane. Red DX Express. <laughs> <laughs> was this last week? This was last week. No, right? was last last week Monday. Right? Yeah. Last so, Monday. No, I think it's the same week. Same week. Yes. Okay. Wow, there's a lot going on in one week in the WWF. This yeah, time. Well, it's, they have no time to slow down, bro. They're just going. Uh, so there was a match: Kane, Foley, and Rock versus DX and uh, Triple H cheats to beat Mick Foley in this match. Yes, the fire um, extinguisher hits him in the head with. Where the fuck did you get that from? Whatever, he hits him in the head with it. They go and back then, and uh, forth yes. between calling him Mick Foley and Cactus Jack here. Yeah, they're just doing whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's cactus. obvious that <laughs> I know much cactus. <laughs> Mick wants to be cactus here, like he's very adamant, especially in the promo yeah. later. They wants to be yeah, cactus, yeah, yeah. but they just can't stop calling him Mick Foley. This is Mick Foley. <laughs> he wrote a book. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, so Foley and Kane chase Triple H and Steph to the DX Express, um, which is in the parking lot. Yes, and then Foley runs a battering ram. <laughs> 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 yes, also that. <laughs> Into the windshield of the DX Express. Smashes right through the front of this motherfucker. Apparently he hit it like seven times or something from what the video <laughs> showed me. <laughs> 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 well, shit. We get this replay like a thousand times on this show. I swear I you know, They showed it in different it. colors too. Red and all it's the smack of the color. night as well at one point, I think. <laughs> Uh, then, of course, we get the legendary 2000 SmackDown intro. Turn up for phone. That's not wrestling. <laughs> that's, that's so wrestling, that man. That is so sick. That's fucking awesome. There's a bunch that, of fucking noises. <laughs> if that was the DPW fire intro, that people would say, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Different era. Uh, a lot it of fucking pyro here. Are you guys right side Ovaltron guys, or did you like left side Ovaltron? Because it changes. I don't know when it changes, but it does change. I don't know if it's just like a, a venue thing, or if they uh, made a I guess I never right really side noticed. This I always is, thought it was right side. Right? It is, is right side here, yes. No, this is the good side, the, the right side. Yeah, because I, I thought I, it was I remember, right side. I don't remember left side. I vividly remember like when the New Age Outlaws got back together, it was on left side. And I think when they did like a video maybe game, they did, it was like, left a, side one time. Yeah, I think video games a couple times. And I think maybe when they did a, a Buried Alive gimmick, it might have been on the left side as well. Um, uh, the right side yeah. the one that I like. I they feel like right side is the one it, I know the most. You're probably saying a venue thing is probably what that was. Yeah, oh. I could see that. We, we don't got room on that side. I don't know why Tony Khan's there. <laughs> <laughs> Get the I, don't, I don't got room. <laughs> so the first match of the night is Tess versus Crash Holly in a hardcore championship match. Tess in the glasses, and he's the hardcore champ. Tess. And he has... He has the legendary Tess This shirt on. <laughs> Tess is ready for this fucking shit. Fuck Tess yeah. is actually pretty. I mean, like, the, the, I'm I'm sure he's supposed to be a heel here because the way they react to him is pretty heelish. I think so, but it's yeah. I think yeah. it's just kind of. He definitely whatever. didn't act like a crazy heel here, um, but the no. crowd was just like, boo. <laughs> this is still after he got cucked. This is very yeah. cucked, Tess. Deadly. Uh, Hardcore Holly backstage asked Crash why he challenged Tess. When yeah, the hardcore the title was named after Hardcore Holly. <laughs> Crash says, awesome. so. I don't think so. Crash says, my last name is Holly. <laughs> what? Matter of fact, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> the Holly title. <laughs> my last name is Holly too. What? <laughs> I'm going to prove that I'm more hardcore than you'll ever be. And he pushes Bob over. Bob falls too. Yeah, I was actually surprised Damn. he fell down. I thought he was going to just sit there. One of the things I, I, this also is probably a video game thing, but I, I remember in person too when the, uh, they do the championship text for hardcore matches and the hardcore text would crush the championship text. I thought that was cool. Ooh, yeah, that is really cool. cool. I like cool that stuff. Uh, yeah. Around the time WCW style, I like theirs too. Like it was like really like bold and like I like yeah, the silver yeah, in your face. Too. Yeah. Um, Crash, of course, Mobile, Alabama legend. Of course, with the scale. 
Uh, Tess throws the title at Crash Dude. to start this match, and then Big what boots the, the dog shit out of him. I thought that was gonna be it. I thought that was gonna Me be too. it. Me right too. I thought so too. This match actually kicks all kinds of ass. This match is awesome. Really good way <laughs> yeah. to start the show, honestly. Yeah, it fired me up. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, Test immediately throws Crash over the barricade here. They fight into the crowd. Uh, yes. Tess puts a trash can on Crash's head, and it's like a legit trash can full yeah, of shit. Yeah, not like a... Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. They just used a real one. It wasn't one set up for that. They're like, all right, here's what we're using. There's just le like legit trash juice just falling out <laughs> of this oh, Not the garbage juice. That's Blah. so nasty. Uh, yeah. That's fucked up. He's dedicated, bro. He puts the trash can on Crash's head and then hits him with a chair, which is, I for some reason, I'm super into that kind of shit. I that love spot. that spot, yeah. They did that. They went to the crowd specifically to do that spot, and then they go right back. He just throws him back over the barricade. Yeah, yeah. He said, you're getting trash juiced, and then we're going back. I can't believe it. He cleared that trash can. <laughs> he did, like, usually you see him, they dump it and then do something with it. He just, yeah. ah, boom. Uh, yeah, the juice is going to nasty. It juiced. Uh, Crash uses a fire extinguisher he finds in the ring on test. Uh, awesome. And then hits a head scissors to the outside off the apron that looks good. He almost good. fucking. I thought he almost killed himself oh, on it. Fucking yeah. smashed Yeah, I mean, that, fucking dangerous as hell. It looked cool, though. Uh, Hardcore Holly is here on the ramp, universe Not Bob. mode style. He's a day. Fuck. <laughs> He's coming up the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> he points. <laughs> Dude, they have a sweet camera angle that they use multiple times where they like, show him on the ramp, but then they show like the action in the Tron. Yes. Like, yes. Sweet that camera. Is oh, because you can Love see it. it. Oh, yeah, see it. yeah, right. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, I thought that, that was cool. pretty awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Uh, Crash uses a kendo stick on test testicles. Not kendo. Just a big stick. stick, they called just it. Just a stick. Yeah, yeah. big, yeah, just big just stick. <laughs> they legit said big stick and it was cock and balls. <laughs> There's a lot of cock and ball action on this show, man. Like a lot. Oh my lot. god. Yeah, the main event has a spectacular cock and ball shot. <laughs> Crash sets up the steps on the outside and then he jumps off the steps and Tess just oh fucking my. nails oh him with his steel chair. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. He smashes him right in his fucking face, dude. I was losing my Big mind bump. at this. And then even better, they get in the ring and I swear I felt like I was in a whole different era or Tess was like implanted into here after time traveling. <laughs> yeah. He Tess sets up two chairs facing each other. I was like, that spot I feel like wasn't invented for another three years. <laughs> Indie <laughs> chair table spot. Yes, I couldn't believe I was like, what the fuck? I couldn't believe it. And oh my god. So they uh Crash is trying to like stop him from putting him through it. He gets Irish whipped, Crash jumps over the chairs, hits the ropes, jumps over the chairs again, and then in midair, Tess big boots him in the fucking face oh, and kills him. Shit. Oh my god. I can't believe the big boot here is just a transition. What the fuck? I know! Pin him! <laughs> I know, it doesn't pin him any of these times he's doing any of this. He's gotta hit the pump handle, fuck him in the ass, slam. Now remember, this is false count anywhere also, so he could have pinned him off any of this shit. Hit him yes. with a chair on the outside? Nah, fuck yes. that. Um, Tess goes for the pump handle, but Crash low blows him. Another oh cop. Which honestly, just keep a record of how many times someone gets hit in the nuts <laughs> on the show. That's twice. Uh, Crash hits a plancha over the ropes here. Um, Hardcore Holly then goes to hit Crash with a chair because he's yes. pissed off at this little bastard. Fuck you, my name's Holly. <laughs> but Crash ducks and Hardcore hits Tess oh, with the chair instead. So hard in his fucking oh, That's the head. only way this motherfucker knows how to throw this yeah. chair. Yeah, that's Hang it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Crash then pins Tess and wins the Hardcore title. I, we th that couldn't have been his first time winning it, was it? Um, yes, this is, really? in fact, the epic time. Uh, following this, he decrees that this would be a 24-7 rule <gasps> on this title. Wow, wow, that's legendary. I didn't even oh, know actually that. witness history right here. No yeah, way. This, yeah. Wow, holy shit. This well, is what his a match first win of 22. Oh, so it wasn't even 24-7 yet. No, he makes it 24-7. Oh, He's wow. the one who does it. Yeah, that was that's uh, why the back coolest. and forth with hardcore yes. and crash was going yes. because he's okay. like, I'm better, I'm more hardcore that makes than sense. you. But that's crazy. This was history. Wow. That was the coolest stipulation, so, yeah. and also the downfall of this championship. That's true because they very quickly ran out of fucking. Things <laughs> yeah, to do. Ran out of it just became a said, became a comedy thing. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Which wasn't yeah. bad, but like, yeah, made they, some uh, legendary moments. I mean, when sure. Crash was doing the stuff. Th that was legendary. I yeah, I love the idea. Like. Most of us remember the hardcore title as like the just the twenty four seven, but this was legitimately just a championship where they had hardcore matches every week. 
and yeah. it was awesome. And you yeah. know, I think I think WWF hardcore matches are actually really fucking underrated. Like even as saying as a deathmatch fucking fan as I am, WWF hardcore matches were fun as hell, and this is a prime example of it. This match. Yeah. Uh, hardcore Holly at the end of this match, after he hit Test, he crashed with the title. He acted like he hit Test on purpose. He said, He's yeah, like, yeah, I, helped. I, I did, did that, that for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he oh. celebrates with him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we go backstage. The DX Express is here. Fucking, yeah, the new one. The new it's DX Express. Silver. Yes. And uh, they are, it's DX are all in there. Uh, Stephanie is in there, Tori's in there, and the Radicals are also in here. And Deb said, I know it smells crazy in there. <laughs> <laughs> I said wow. that ruined the whole, I can't watch this segment anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Billy Gunn's laying on a table playing with Road Dog's hair. I don't what know what's, the hell is fucking, this? Ha what's yeah. fucking happening here, man. They try to make this bus seem cool, but it's like a bunch of fucking big ass wrestlers <laughs> crammed in this they little can't bus. Fit. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is not cool at all. Yeah. Uh, Triple H tells Billy Gunn that he is going to take care of Bubba Ray <laughs> DX style. No, I wrote that down. No, Hell yeah. I DX style too. for life. Fuck yeah. Do it DX I style. couldn't believe he said DX style. I said, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh, we already got, how many styles have we got? Hamburger, <laughs> hot dog, shield, DX. gamer, shield style. And shield DX. style. DX style. Oh, DX shit. style. Uh, Triple H asks Chris Benoit, he says, hey, uh, you do me a little favor. Uh, oh. Oh. You take care of Kane tonight. Uh, I got a little problem at the pay-per-view. You need to have a one-on-one -on -one with Kane. He says, all right, and he daps him up. All right, what the hell? <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> 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 Triple H says that him, X-Pac, and Road Dog are going to... Okay, so listen to this. We're going to do Benoit. you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, Chris Benoit, you're going to go one-on-one -on -one with Kane. We're going to take care of Too Cool and Rikishi. <laughs> For you. What? <laughs> <laughs> and Cactus Jack is off limits. He's mine, and I'm going to take care of him myself. All right. Oh, my God. Now I can't stop thinking about what is smelling in there. It's got to smell crazy in there. Road Dog alone smells like fucking hell, I bet. Oh, my God. He looks so smelly. <laughs> this is fucking hell. <laughs> hair. Stop touching his hair. You don't know where that's been. Oh, man. Uh, so we go backstage. The Rock is on a cell phone just hanging out, just chilling. He's on a Nokia phone, just chilling. And then and next here comes to the his big... $500,000 million shirt <laughs> yeah, is like... hanging up there, too. <laughs> and Big Show just arrived in the building wearing a cutoff Schmedium shirt and jeans. <laughs> big Show's big ass <laughs> jeans. <laughs> what is that? What's... What are you wearing this shirt what for, man? The, the big nasty bastard, right? Yeah. He is a big nasty uh... bastard with the earring. Yeah. So speaking of Big Show, it's time for the Big Show Town Hall. Oh, oh, Big Show comes out, even has his in pyro. pyro still. Yeah, a lot of uh, fucking pyro. Stage pyro, too. Yeah, st a lot of stage pyro, which wasn't cued how it usually is. It just... It, we're all, <laughs> <laughs> and then his in ring. They're still trying viral. to figure it out. Oh yeah. shit! That's a big joke. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry about it. Oh, but they do it later shit. too, so it was on purpose. Ah, oh, fuck! I keep fucking oh, this up. Fucking god! Uh, big show comes with a ring, earring, gold chain, Wrangler jeans, medium shirt. <laughs> yeah, base show. You're just crazy. He says, big. <laughs> Big just says, I don't understand the boobs. <laughs> the no, boobs. not the boobs. No, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. The Wrangler has oh. jeans on. What about the boobs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand are... these titties. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, yeah, bro. Big Show, he comes out here. This segment actually uh, went way longer than I thought it was going to go. This went forever. It's 17. It's like a Royal Rumble of promos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, you're right. There's so much shit going on in this. Holy shit. Big Show doesn't understand why he is getting booed. Why am I getting booed? Why, why am I getting so, so much hate? Getting hate? <laughs> <laughs> <Why am> I... <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I mean, he had a fair explanation for it too. He said, fair? Too, it was he was one hundred percent right. Yeah, he said, everything he said here was right. He said two months ago you cheered for me. How have I changed that much? In yeah, two months? shut up, you know? your thong wearing fatty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, shut it up. didn't matter what Big Show yeah, said. No. Look it at the fun. footage, guys. Look at the footage. Yeah, shut up. Where's the rock? <laughs> <laughs> he could have cried. And rock just had to fucking make fun of him, but they would have been fine. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Dude, he's big saying, shows like I legitimately the footage had, shows that I am right, and the Rock just comes out and says, "You're a fucking bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> yeah! What did you say, Tony? <laughs> oh, he just goes on and says, I supported the rock. He called me a, droni- a jabroni. It hurt my feelings. He said, it's all... It was it's a- a- Rock insulted rock. me. Yeah, he insulted me and it <laughs> hurt my, my feelings. feelings. What the yeah. fuck? He said, I was insulted, it hurt my feelings, and I'm not going to put up with that. And then I lose the WWF title, and I don't get a rematch, and then I did everything he wanted me to, I still don't get a rematch. And then I won the Royal Rumble, and then because of some referees, I got screwed. Does that make me a bad guy? A boo! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rock? <laughs> That, that's like the equivalent of, that's the equivalent of anyone seeing Stephanie and calling her a slut. It's you're right. Yes, it's exactly what it is. They just hate him just because fuck you. You're on yeah. Stone Cold or The Rock or Jared. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Big, I, I don't know if you noticed. Big Show cuts this whole promo facing away from the hard cam. By the way, Good. which I I thought was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, they they definitely weren't dialed in on that hard cam shit at this no, time. No, it was. Um, they were still cool. playing to the to audience. The people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, talk to the people. It's great. Um, uh, Big Show shows yes. footage he, because, of course, the Royal Rumble just happened where uh, The Rock yes. ended up eliminating him. Uh, but Big Show shows footage that The Rock's feet hit the mat in the Royal Rumble, so he should have been eliminated, and Big Show should have won. He starts getting a little whiny. Rocky's feet touched the mat. <laughs> Can somebody <laughs> explain this to me? <laughs> Can anybody out there explain to me how this you is may, right? You may have missed it. One more. Show it again. Show the footage. And they Look show at it his again. Feet. <laughs> they sh- they sh- and they're showing this footage by showing a shot from behind the big show watching the trial. Yeah, that's so show based. The no way. That's so based. Yeah, let me see that fucking on the screen. That's so sick. Not only can I not see it, and then the th- they show it three times. The third one, it's zoomed in on The Rock's knees. I can't even see what's going on. The first time in WWE history, man, they didn't get the shot. You're right. I can't believe it. They have 90 cameras, 500 wires. Uh. 60 photographers. You tell me a photographer <laughs> didn't get any of this either. <laughs> Nothing. So it's my house is right. <laughs> Anyone explain to me how this is right? <laughs> Kurt Angle comes out. Hey, how's it going? I want to <laughs> shake your hand. <laughs> he did. He did. I want to shake your hand. Give me a shake your hand. Kurt Angle says, Shame on you people. Shame on you all. Bitch. Uh, I'm looking at both these guys and go, wow, both these guys still have hair here. This is like they a crazy moment. They are so moment. young, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they look, they both look great here. They look Kurt insane. came out straps down. Like he was, he was showing off. He's, he's, he's good. ready to go. <laughs> um, Chris Jericho's music is, you're right. It, you know, I didn't even think about it turning into a rumble of, of promos, <laughs> but this is exactly what it is. <laughs> you know, I gotcha. They also dub Michael Cole's commentary during this. Talk, uh, have him talk about Jericho and Kurt from Monday. Like them, I guess they got involved with one another on Monday, beating each other up. Mm. Got to get that in there, baby. Got to get that Dixie yeah. Cup commentary. That in there wild for line, brother. Uh, Chris Jericho's music hits. It's the Girl Tron. God, this Tron is so good. I Ugh. need to know who that is, man. Like I, I, it's one of the girls from Saturday. Uh, but which Saturday Shotgun? Saturday Shotgun? Night. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. But like, who? Who are you? Uh, um, Masquerita Jericho- Sagrada. <laughs> oh no i got a song he's with for the him. ladies <laughs> i'll never forget that ever. that is the most not listened to episode of our show ever too you guys gotta go watch the <laughs> shotgun go back and it's a great episode. one it's a great one go back and listen if you have not yeah if you have not listened to the shotgun saturday night review uh, trust us on this one please go listen oh, to it look, i know it doesn't Matt sound like much sagrada. with the ladies <laughs> with the ladies <laughs> <laughs> Jericho comes out with China as well here, by the way. And Jericho says, an Olympic hero with no neck and a ridiculous giant with no testicles. And Lawler says, what? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, Jericho says, Kirk Angel, I got to give you credit. You make even the big show seem entertaining. And you talk about your three eyes. Well, three eyes. Well, YCJ has an eye of his own. I I wish he was shut the hell up. <laughs> That's awesome. Jericho is great here. <laughs> and Kurt says, you got a problem. Maybe we should have a match tonight. Or better yet, a tag match. And I don't think you'll find a, a partner with a, a lack of a, well, intelligence to face us. <laughs> he kind of got lost. <laughs> I thought he was going to Sid Vicious it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he says, let's make it a tag. Me and Big Show versus you and... Surely China. Oh. The Rock music hits. He you comes smell- out. Oh, my God. It's over for everybody here, bro. That's it. That's everyone's time. All your time is up. <laughs> You're right. No one says anything for the next six minutes, I feel like. <laughs> they just have to... Rock has something for fucking everyone. He says, tag team wrestling isn't in my 
repertoire. <laughs> but I want to get that Olympic goof to know his role and shut his mouth. Rock could care less about Kurt. The only reason I'm teaming with Jericho is to get my hands on the big show. Big show. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the Rock says this. He heard, has heard your complaints. He has seen your footage. And The Rock says this. You are absolutely right. He's right. <laughs> we he's right. The Rock's feet did not touch the, did touch the ground first. The Rock did call you a jabroni. And these people boo your candy ass. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Big said oh, he's not no. allowed to respond at this point. No, he's just he's, done. No he's, mic in hand. <laughs> Well, The Rock has a bit of footage of his own. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the, the Rock, Rock said, you're going to take these strokes. <laughs> oh, no. They're beating his ass in the good tweets. <laughs> the Rock has footage of the thing that you do best. And it shows... <laughs> It the oval it tans the oval tron. You can see the rock. I love this by the way. I'm so it's glad just shot they did of the this rock one. on the stage and the rock on the oval tron backstage. <laughs> <laughs> and the rock He recorded at, this himself. <laughs> he did it himself. No, I think it's Brandon. The, the red damn it, Brandon. The rock <laughs> does Big Show's choke slam taunt and goes, ooh. <laughs> 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 Rock says, you know what? <laughs> Let's look at it one more time from another angle. <laughs> and it's, it goes back to it. And it's him doing the same exact thing. <laughs> Dude, they from filmed just it a like totally three, different angle. They, they threw, filmed it three different times, I swear. He fucking... He, and he's, it's even better. Each time he does it, he stops, looks at the camera, and brightens the eyebrow. He does the Fortnite eyebrow raise. <laughs> Each time. And he says, now seeing as you have a third grade education, maybe you'll understand it one more time in slow motion. No <laughs> mic in hand for Big Show. He, he's stun locked. The Rock has stun locked everyone. And it's, it's not slowed down. It's just The Rock doing it slower. <laughs> there are three people in the ring right now and none of them are responding as The Rock goes... <laughs> There's four people watching The Rock's promo. Fuck. <laughs> so they show it in slow mo. He pops the eyebrow again. And then Rock mocks the big show after this. Big show still hasn't responded. He says, Why did he boo me? Why did he boo you? Why did he boo you? Ah, shut your mouth. <laughs> He's not even what? talking anymore. <laughs> he had talked for six minutes. <laughs> the great one says this He realizes you are seven feet. And that you're 500 pounds, and that you are the biggest threat in the Rock's career. Which I was like, okay, he brought him back a little bit. But then he says, "Don't worry about the crowd at No Way Out. You should only worry about how you're going to stop the Brahma Bull from kicking your candy ass and going to WrestleMania if you saw me." Big Show fuck. once again did not respond. <laughs> I don't think he said anything, did he? The whole time? No, he's just like <laughs> <laughs> he did the Triple H thing where he's like <laughs> <our> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I play that slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need another angle for that. That's so oh, sick! Wow, God uh, damn. So it shows the Tennessee Titans in the crowd here. Yeah, oh, um, they could Steve be playing McNair. The next year. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard the name Steve McNair in a while. That was pretty interesting to see that. Yeah, tell me about him. Um, no, I don't know anything about Steve McNair. <laughs> uh, I, right. I, I used to play Just, against him, against him on uh, ESPN NFL. I'm trying to learn sports through deadlock. <laughs> Steve McNair was a quarterback Titans. that was popular in the early 2000s. Right. He played for the Tennessee Titans. All right. All right. Got and him. And it's Run. the same Titans that saved TNA. So there you go. Wow. They play a video package showing off how crazy Hell in a Cell is. And it's using the best fucking hype music for it. Tony, you're right. It does start. This is where we get the dose of poison is coming in. I'm going to find that and we're using it. And I don't care if that come from. I'm going to find that. It's copyright free. It's got to be right. Well, actually, there's a whole production thing behind they license all these songs because when i did like videos for WWE when yeah. i was doing their youtube channel stuff i asked them can we use like these promo songs and like make like, a thing they're like no we license each one of those individually so you can't we got that's wolf crazy I'm, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them out of there let's just find <laughs> someone to remake them yeah i think honestly there's i don't think you have they ever used do you think they still use that one i don't know 
No, they don't use promo songs ever like that anymore. Yeah, I think I think we, I think us. <laughs> <laughs> WWS SmackDown is brought to you by Oh my God. milk. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that down. What the that, fuck? Milk is sponsoring that wrestling? That shocked me. It shocked. Get the supersized milk mustache poster of The Rock. What That's the, so sweet. What we the had, fuck? dude, there, I remember that being in like, uh, I can't remember if it was elementary or middle school, but I uh, I in remember the that. Yeah, the Got Milk Rock thing was. I like think I did too. There yeah. In the, in the lunchroom, which was like yeah. crazy. Um, also, How did people SmackDown. Just. Cool. Sidebar, how the fuck does milk need help? Like, what the fuck? They were trying I mean, to, people, I don't know. People people like, it was just Rock and Steve Austin. Did someone else do a big show, maybe? I feel Rock and Austin are the ones I fucking remember, but yeah. I don't know if there was. I, I mean, you would think they all had Kurt. H. Maybe Kurt wasn't. Kurt. Maybe, maybe, it was just, maybe it was just Rock and uh, Austin. I don't see any other ones. Um, if anybody out there has any more got milk. WWF stuff from this era, please send it to us. Yeah, send us some pictures of wrestlers with milk. <laughs> <laughs> we like that shit. Yeah. Uh, WR Smackdown also brought to you by WWF Shop 7. <laughs> of course. <Whoa. laughs> Tough month. <laughs> uh, and phonefree.com, where you can oh, get shit. free long distance calls over the internet from wow. your computer. Whoa. Imagine doing calls over the internet. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, stupid as hell. I We're doing it right now, yeah. dumbass. What the hell? We have Kane versus Chris Benoit. Yes. Kane's with Paul Bearer, and Benoit's with the Radicals. With an S, not a Z. In my mind, they were always Z. Maybe I made that Wait, up. Wait, was it not a Z? No, it was S, yeah. I wrote down with a Z every time. Okay, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's, in hell? my mind, it's, yeah, that's right. That's weird, okay. Did they change um, it, or did they change it at this point? How long are they uh, around by this point? It was the Radicals with a Z, but it, uh, according to the Wikipedia, it says sometimes titled the Radicals with an S. Oh, it's like Knights of the Black Throne. No way. I don't know what that is. That's some fucked up shit. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, all right, just making just trying just trying to make some connection. Yo, this song has got me fucked up forever. The radicals, man. So the radicals come out and attack Kane four on one. They drag his ass out of the ring and start whooping Fuck his you, ass. Fuck you, Kane, you bitch. And then they dragged him out, no mercy stop, by the feet. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> like, I was so fucked up from it. They whooped his ass, then Benoit dives on the back of Kane's head. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. I didn't Fuck. even know what happened. It looked like Benoit just hit the mat. I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> he just fell out of the sky. Fuck. Uh, the Radicals get kicked out of the match. And well, yeah, Benoit dives on him, and the Radicals stomp him out. And then the referee's like, hey, get out of here, man. The match ain't started yet. No. I, which made me think, why did they leave? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right yeah, fuck you. I'm off this guy's ass for a little longer. Uh, Benoit ends up taking a gourd buster when Kane gets back in the ring. Yes. Uh, Benoit then kicks Kane's leg out of his leg and does a diving True. headbutt. That he Kane, yes, no cells. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was hoping they were gonna do the spot where Benoit drops for the headbutt and Kane sits up and he misses. Oh yeah, no. so yeah. he just takes that shit yeah. and then sits he, up. He takes it and then sits up <laughs> and then goozles Benoit, but Benoit then kicks his leg out of his leg again. Uh, Kane hit him with like a fucked up tilt a whirl slam. I don't dude. even know uh, what that was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be the tilt a whirl sidewalk slam, but Kane I just think so dumped too. him. Yeah. Uh, Kane hit the Kane line off the top. That's awesome. Um, they brought on the outside for a minute. Tori comes down the ramp yes, here. She does. They go, there's Tori. That's that's Kane's ex girlfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my God. So like, they did to the Fiend. It's the exact same thing they this did to the Fiend. Kane's ex girlfriend, Tori. <laughs> so Tori comes down and slaps Paul Bear, and then Paul Bear just starts fucking goozling her. Paul Bear does the collie head squish to her. Why'd you do that oh, shit? Fuck. Why'd you do that to my boy? Why'd you? <laughs> he loved you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> His colleague squishing her brain, and then they then Kane gets disqualified. <laughs> oh my god! Why? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Tori and Paul Bear started fighting, and the match got DQ. The ref what? said, "Fuck it, fuck this <laughs> match, fuck this man." Match. That's, just, that's just fucking era wrestling. Everybody has DQ finishes on this era wrestling. Yeah, it's and just... then 
<laughs> fucking Kane is stalking Tori up the ramp after the match ends, and Michael Cole in commentary says they call her Tombstone Tori because Kane tombstoned her. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean they call her that? Who they calls her that? Her, bro. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, you're at the bar. Oh, we're talking about old Tombstone Tori. You know, just a couple of boys hanging out. What the fuck? <laughs> this is called the boy girl party. Just called Tombstone Tori. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing yeah. throw back a couple of cold ones. You know, Tombstone Tori. <laughs> at the Tory. boy girl party. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Some Mountain Dew, man. Some cold Mountain Dew. Uh, just okay. some Mountain Dew, bro. It better, it better be some fucking milk, motherfucker. <laughs> no, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, Doritos, baby. You know, boy girl party. Still. No, no milk, Tony. Big Mountain Dew guy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Hawaiian Punch, though. Mountain oh, Dew, that bro. shit's never cold, bro. What's wrong yeah, with Hawaiian yeah. Punch? Sidebar. <laughs> Sidebar. What's the deal? What's the deal? It's never cold. It's fucked up. Because it's from Sidebar. Hawaii. Have you guys of ever course. had Vault? Yeah. Yeah, Vault was fucking wow, sweet, dude. What the Vault fuck? was the shit. What oh was in God. that, man? Crack? Why did that... When did that doesn't exist anymore, right? No way. Okay. I remember they bring it back. I, I compl I genuinely They brought back Surge. I can't I tell Vault you the last back. time Was Surge I on Amazon? thought about Vault. Oh my god. I remember yeah. it very vividly because my buddy came over and for my birthday and his birthday present to me was a six pack of Vault. Yeah. Oh I was no. Like, that kicks ass. <laughs> dude, that shit would keep you up like forever. <laughs> like uh so anyways, back to Kane versus Chris Benoit. Uh, yes. Tombstone, Tombstone Tori comes Tory. out here. <laughs> Tombstone Tori. Uh, she gets thrown out. Match is thrown out. Everybody's thrown out. Everybody's leaving. They're going back up the ramp. Uh, Kane is now stalking his ex-girlfriend Tori up the Did ramp. It? Kane's just oh, walking. <laughs> Kane's not stalking her. He's just walking up the ramp. He's she just also just leave. happens to be there. <laughs> um, X-Pac then comes out and has <laughs> a cylinder device. <laughs> I don't really know what this was supposed to be That's at first. That's what it. That's the best way to describe it. A large cylinder device. Uh, and then Tori, who apparatus, <laughs> <laughs> cylinder apparatus. <laughs> Tori, Tori is at the top of the ramp with X Pac stand. X Pac actually looks like he no clipped in and is just, like is a video yes. game character. He's just standing there, not moving with this yes. flamethrower, and Tori refuses to get out of the way of this flamethrower. Xbox is standing there waiting get to the use it and Tori would not get out of the no, way. No, he's like locked and loaded too. Uh, eventually Tori moves out of the way and then x -Pac casts a flame <laughs> into Kane's face. x -Pac walked out on stage and shot Kane with a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Kane, ah, ah. Kane falls down and starts rolling all around. <laughs> Sean, you got a mask on. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Thankfully, he had a mask on. <laughs> because Tori wouldn't move, Kane was just standing there like a dumbass waiting for the flamethrower. What is this cylinder apparatus? <laughs> what do you got that big old, yeah, what are you doing there? What are you that? doing with that? <laughs> X-Pac had a whole ass fucking flamethrower. That is awesome. And he hit Kane with it. He tried to kill Kane on TV. This was on UPN. <laughs> this is awesome. let's, let's, wow. let's break this down real quick. X-Pot comes out with a flamethrower, <laughs> uses it on Kane, and then just goes, all right, I'll see you later. And then they go to <laughs> Edge of Christian match. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> it was, yeah. Fuck. And then oh, X-Pot goes out Kane. on the DX Express, dude. He just Wrestling goes chills so back there. Wrestling is sick, yeah. man. Yeah, it's actually insane. Uh, we get a No Way Out commercial for The Rock and The Big Show. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and we get Edge and Christian and the Hardys versus Al Snow, Steve Blackman, <laughs> Dean Malenko, and Perry Saturn. This is fucked up, man. This is real fucked up, man. Edge has a furry fucking cowboy hat, Trish hat. style. Jeff is in the deadlock orange. Dean Malenko kicks ass. <laughs> this is sweet. This match is nothing, though. <laughs> no way. No. There was eight guys. All of them were over, and they all just got nothing here. I was like, yeah, okay. I know. They just did nothing. Like, Jeff does the whisper in the wind, and it looked cool. Everyone's fucking brawling. Uh, Jeff backdrops Perry Saturn over the top rope and then hits a release Northern Lights on Malenko, which I was like, holy fuck. That was definitely in his No Mercy moveset, too. I remember it. So Jeff hits it on Malenko, then dives over the top on Saturn, and then Al pushes Matt Hardy off the top rope onto Edge on the outside. 
And then Malenko and fucking Saturn hit a calf kick tiger suplex combo oh and Jeff Hardy for the win. That was what so the sick. Fuck? That was so sweet. I yeah, uh, was... don't remember that at all. So that's really sweet. Me neither. Jeff Hardy took that shit like he he got dumped on his fucking head, man. That was yeah, you know what? Fuck. For some reason, I feel like that move may have been in the SmackDown games, though. The calf kick tiger suplex as a tag move. Oh, that's cool. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Maybe someone can verify that for me, but I feel like it was. Yeah. Dude. They got fucked by the radicals, man. Like, they got, yeah, hell yeah, they did. The Jesus radicals, Christ. everything <laughs> they did. <laughs> Dean Malenko did the fucking kitchen sink and a brain buster as his beginning shine. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> this is this is Dean WCW Mal- style, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Malenko is crazy. Man. I was, I was actually like, I was like, man, I kind of wish this guy some more time because they were all doing some. I, I, I agree. I that's because you know everyone, you know Al, but you know it's cool. Edge and Christian and the Hardys then argue after this match. He um, said, I'm, I want Lita. <laughs> no question. He said, well, That's guess fine. what? <laughs> Matt slaps the fuck out of Edge, That's man. how you do it, man. You got he to. He slapped them. Not Brandy style. This was Matt Hardy no style. Way. <laughs> <laughs> this was Stephanie style, really. This is definitely closer to Stephanie style. They all start fighting and uh, the refs break it up. Yeah. And there you go. So this match or this match in this segment probably got what five minutes altogether. Our review of that match just now was the same length as the match. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Damn man, and they were it's... like they were doing some cool shit too. Yeah, Jeff was they... super like hot at this point, man. That honestly, I feel like anytime we watch any Jeff Hardy stuff, we say that because it's always yeah, true. true. Yeah. He's always yeah. over as hell. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeff wow. Hardy's over in 2000. Wow. wow. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we have Triple H, Road Dog, and X Pac versus Rikishi and Too Cool. Grandmaster Sexay and Scotty Too Hotty, of course. Radicals, uh, uh, the Radicals jumped Rikishi on Raw, and then Too Cool made the save with crutches. And Cole called it oh a crutch God, fest. What no is happening? What way. is Michael Cole's just doing his own shit here? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> He's trying bits. He's just you could call this. I guess you could call this a crutch fest. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, hold on. Go back to that. What are we talking about? <laughs> Let's try that one more time. What's the DX song here? Uh, okay. I thought it might have been dubbed because I swore they were coming out to the Run DMC, John. At this, it point. was Run DMC. It okay, was then dub- it was dubbed. It was, it was a cut. It was like a cut version of. No it. way, this was Run no, DMC. That was not Run DMC. No, it's like a. It's a. It might have been something Run DMC based uh, the it, song off of. It's like a different version of it. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I feel like it's almost similar, like the same song. Yeah. It's just some guys going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Is that like that new Rick roll? You just got radical. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hassan, Muhammad Hassan on You're the Man Now, though. You're the Man Now. Oh. <laughs> just got radical. You got <laughs> radicalized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Black Trunks, WWF title, Triple H. Yes. He looks crazy bro yeah this is uh triple h before his big injury was uh was a whole different kind of shark yeah uh fuck man he's cool as hell dude (laughs) like this dude he's got the crew and everything looks great yeah uh cole on commentary says kane is in the burn center at a local medical facility as he would be you know the burn center of a local Medical well, facility. They were even fixed. doing it then. Even then was local medical facility. They call no, that like a say, crutch party or something. Is, <laughs> this is the part where they, I think they say also that the mask saved him or whatever. That was later. That's later. Oh, was later? Okay. says that, yeah. Uh, Grandmaster Sexay here to start this one off. You know what's crazy? I don't know. Maybe matches are just different back then. Grandmaster Sexay just walks up and hits a skull crushing finale <laughs> of his first <laughs> move. <laughs> So he just does the skull crushing finale and then That's dances on the second rope and hits a drop kick. He's just doing shit. And then Grandmaster Sexay gets offense on Triple H was the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. He was over as hell. Like <laughs> with the do rag. Yeah, just yeah, crazy. Just man. Uh the radicals watching this match like regular human beings backstage on a CRT. Yeah, yes. yeah. They're just literally looking at us. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's um, cool. Just making sure. Making sure the boys are all right. Scotty goes for the worm here, but on X-Pac. H. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but X-Pac hits a fucking crazy Holy. spin kick, man. Holy hell, he takes his Fuck. fucking head off. Yeah. 
oh no, I know what happens next. <laughs> yeah. So oh, God. after that, Rikishi gets the hot oh, tag. Oh, God. Oh, God. This has got to be on purpose. This has got to be on purpose. It's got to be. There's no way, bro. There's this is no on purpose. Rikishi no hot tag sprints, full <laughs> sprints over to the camera. <laughs> He found the camera. He runs, he almost runs sideways, so the camera only looks at his big fucking ass. Uh. And then he bends over in front of the camera and starts smacking his ass. God damn it! I'm never the decibels of this slap. This is unheard it's of, man. Echoes, it echoes was through the arena. It was. Uh, oh my god! Scale is fucked Fuck, up off this, man. I don't, I can't even like replicate. No, we've watched a lot of of Rikishi slapping his ass Dude, real close this, to the camera, man. Like the the one we did before was real bad, like the the OG sloppy one. But this was just fucking him trolling, man. This he was like have, I've never seen him run faster to get the ass <laughs> in the camera and start slapping but his like, fucking ass cheeks. The noise, man. The noise here is like it's like this petite. <laughs> <laughs> petite, like <laughs> not the petite about this. Like Rikishi was like, he was dialed in on these slaps. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I don't know how to explain you know how Austin, it. How Austin said he had to like tap on the 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 um, bedpan before he hit Vince in the head with it yeah, to find the yeah. perfect sound. That's what Rikishi does I with his fucking ass. I can't explain it. It's like you had to listen to this sound because it's like so crazy. Like it like transported me to a different realm. I was like, wow. You, you could close your eyes and listen to that and say, damn, that's a fat ass. <laughs> there was a lot slapping. happening. And the <laughs> ripples. The ripples are How out come of every time this fucking guy is in the ring I'm talking about his Dude, ass twice. I am slapping his ass, ass eating ass. <laughs> oh, there's a lot I'm going on here. Rikishi's I'm, ass shows up, and both of you just get mesmerized. I, bro, I'm, I, I never look, man. I, I haven't I'm experienced not, such a thing like that, man. There ain't too many asses like this, and no, this man is a crazy ass. I mean, because like, <laughs> I grew up with the ass, you know, it's just commonplace for me now. I've seen it too much. I've seen too much of this ass. It doesn't even bother me anymore. You just oh. don't get like a, just a big. Junky ass <laughs> like is... that very often. <laughs> like it just does dimples, not happen like the that. Dimples? Yeah, it doesn't happen. Yeah, dimples, man. the fucking Ripples, that the that noise. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you just, man. He just like the perfect cup on his hand, probably when he's slapping that. It's unheard of. <laughs> you gotta listen to the decibels. I'm telling you. Like we have to rank Rikishi's. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, man. Hold on a minute. There's not now, many more of these I can on. fucking take, man. <laughs> we had to rank them, man, because these now are it's time crazy. for the untitled Rikishi's ass segment. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be up there. The noise and the I way think, that he sprints towards the camera. This is I like think, all right. Crazy. Here's the. I, I will pitch this to a dipper then. If somebody wants oh, to no, put in no. the effort to get a compilation of Rikishi slapping his ass in it's front of the camera. It's got to be only the, only the ones we watched because I don't want to sure, see any ever watched yet. Yes, yeah, I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, yeah. right. So. so get them all together of episodes we watch where Rikishi slaps his ass in front of the camera and we will listen to it on the show. Oh, no. Because <laughs> no. it's crazy. We it's won't really do crazy. anything. You got to. Hold on. You got to do it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what a, what the fuck? <laughs> Where are we? Just have a good podcast. Have a good stream. <laughs> We're just trying to review some wrestling. I don't want to listen to Rikishi's ass anymore. Why Bubba Sawyer here? <laughs> Triple H attacks Rikishi's fucking... Okay, they go, this guy's got a fucked up ankle. His entire leg is <laughs> mummified. It's, 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 his whole calf. Is He's wearing like a up. cast. Yeah. They attacked his ankle. What? <laughs> they attacked his <laughs> big ass leg. Uh, X-Pac uh, gets hit with a fucking pop-up cutter that looked awesome too. Yeah, the, dude. Rikishi hulks up through through kicks yeah. and then pop-up oh, yeah, cutter. Just kills him. Uh Fucking, there's a sign that got taken away. I don't know if you saw this. Uh, the dude held up a sign and then starts walking up the stairs, and security follows him and says, no, I didn't see that. It was a sign that said, Triple H sucks and Stephanie swallows. <laughs> and they wow, took that so away. There was a lot more offensive stuff. There was way worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H said, Go get that, that guy. Hey, take that one. <laughs> yeah, he saw that. Get that fucking sign out of here. Yeah. 
Uh, Rikishi hits a belly to belly on X Pac here. Um, Scotty yes. oh, hits the worm on X Pac. Yes. Um, Road Dog breaks that up. Rikishi, Rikishi. hits the belly to belly on X Pac. Yes. Goes for the you know rump shaker. For. That's right, baby. The rump shaker. <laughs> it's time for the rump shaker. It's too much rump in this ring right now. That's so HHH true. hits him with a chair. <laughs> on the, he just hits him in the back with it, right? I, yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't hit him on the fucked up ankle. But you should have hit him in his ass. Worry. <laughs> yeah, no way! It would have broke the chair. Yeah, it's too powerful. It would have hurt. It was Dude, like, did anyone ever do that? <laughs> oh, attacked his ass, and then it like, to, like backfired. Oh, mate, like that, like you know when they uh, like when you would low blow like human tornado, he would no sell it because he had balls of steel. Rikishi just had a real powerful ass, ass oh, of steel. Wow. Oh wow, yeah. No, I don't, I don't wow. remember that. No. I, he had to have been. Someone's probably knows. How they not even uh, or either that or did something where like they were like pilmanized this. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? I, I wasn't no thinking about to, what I was saying until I was How come no one ever tried to do anything to his ass? <laughs> yeah, how come no one ever pilmanized that? Rikishi's ass? <laughs> what was that one time they put like a uh, toilet paper up his ass or something? Uh, yeah, like, they wiped the his ass? That's fucked up. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How dare they? Don't do that. No, I already said it was actually very nice Delightful. sometimes to get. <laughs> I can't. I'm, we're back on the ass. I can't get out of it. I can't. I'm stuck. Tri Triple, in his okay. ass. <laughs> Triple H then sets Rikishi up on the steps on the outside and slams a chair into Rikishi's fucked up ankle it is or so leg. so loud and the referees, huh? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Grandmaster Sex Day goes for the hip hop drop. X Pac moves Road Dog out of the way. X Pac hits the X Factor on Grandmaster Sex Day and they win. And the radicals love it. They're backstage clapping. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, Road Dog then hits the fuck your ass pump handle on Scotty <laughs> after the match. Just gotta get that in. We're gonna fuck you in the ass now. He couldn't do it to Rikishi because his dick would snap off. <laughs> <laughs> Did Road Dog ever do the fuck your ass pump handle to Rikishi? <laughs> There's no way he would have been like, Whoa! <laughs> that's too much ass from that man. <laughs> You don't know what to do with that. Part, ass. Can anyone find? Can anyone find Road Dog doing the fuck your ass pump handle to Rikishi? There's no way. There's no way it happened. For the first time, that's too much ass for the D O W G. I do not want to kick this just in doggy style. I can't. Did that ever do that? There was so much missed opportunity. With I know, man. I wish we were booking the attitude. Oh ever. my god! Just specifically. Rikishi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we want to use Rikishi this week. Bring in the deadlock team. <laughs> Bring the boys in. <laughs> oh, so. Anyways. Start booking Rikishi. We got some ideas. <laughs> There's so much Rikishi ass lore on this show. <laughs> oh my god. Tribal cheeks, bro. <sighs> Uh, Rikishi uh, gets help by the EMTs backstage. Well, kinda. Too cool help him back there. And the doctor's like, what happened? What happened? And Rikishi's like, they smashed it! Fucking <laughs> 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 watch the show, dickhead. <laughs> uh, we get the Godfather and D'Lo Brown versus the big boss man and Prince Albert. <laughs> this is... <laughs> these are all fucked up matches, man. <laughs> this is a crazy D -Lo, era. D'Lo's wearing Godfather's gear. <laughs> they got the hose out what there. What was the deal? What the, the hell is that? Yeah. But he loses shit know. at the fucking airport. He just said, you gotta wear my shit tonight, No, bro. I think he just thinks Godfather's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hoes tonight were just okay. They were fine, hey, man. I'm, they were I'm just always, I'm always okay. for the hoes. I'm always. I was trying. I was looking oh out for the hoes tonight. I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect time for this. Uh, Doran, oh, was this the Rumblethon or just one of the streams I did recently? Somebody donated to me and said, "Hey, uh, just to let you know, my aunt." Was a hoe no. for the Godfather? No. <laughs> yeah. no. And he, like, he sent me the video and all of like who she was. I was like, oh my god, get me in contact with your hoe aunt. <laughs> we must talk Fucking to her. Hell. I need to know the process of becoming a hoe, what it's like, what you do they before did a casting after. Call. Holy shit! Yeah. What if she says, yeah, I got my shit blown out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you fucking say that shit, <laughs> man? <laughs> the Godfather and Dylan Brown versus the big boss oh, man show one of the hose. They show one of the hose. King says, it's cold in here. Oh my God, was it, bro? She was going crazy. 
So D-Lo in the Godfather gear. <laughs> Why do you say that shit? Come on. D-Lo, it's a crazy ass front missile drop kick off the top. Gets a real crazy eye here. Uh, D-Lo does a leaping moonsault out of the corner. The camera cuts to one of the hosts and her nipples are just going crazy <laughs> for like a super long time. <laughs> That's what Waller said it's cold. Oh, in yeah, here. it's cold in here. Ah. Uh, there was like uh. some ho train clothesline thing. I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to be. Taz comes Holy fucking shit. I forgot about this. Holy <laughs> hell. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Taz. Full oh bandana my. and leather jacket. Orange bandana, orange tank top, jacket. <laughs> Real what fucked up, man. What the fuck is happening? Uh, Godfather hits the pimp drop on Albert and yeah. uh, wins the match. Oh my god. Taz comes out and attacks Bossman and then pokes Albert in the eyes. That was his yeah, big off. That yeah, was yeah. his big run in. He pokes him in the Team eyes. Taz builds assassins. <laughs> uh, Cat and his jack is hanging by the forklift backstage. He's sad. Looking real sad in a jean jacket. Now they say the WWF free for all of the week <laughs> is presented by phonefree.com. Of course. And the, f- the free for all of the week was <laughs> Cat and Shag <laughs> destroyed the DX Express. That's all we got, bro. What Whatever. The fuck Eight is times the free in a row back to back. Do, 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 That's how it happened in real time. That's all we got, man. <sighs> Cat is Jack Town Hall time, boys. He says a lot of shit here, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a really good fucking promo, though. It is. It is. Um, Jim Ross introduces Cactus Jack. Yes, there will be only one and only Cactus Jack McFoley, dude. Love <laughs> Cactus Jack is the god of this shit, bro. He is. Yeah, the man. Hell yeah. He comes out. This dude is so fucked, man. This could be the last match of his entire career. He comes out here in a Walt Disney World jean jacket. <laughs> this guy's That's a different kind beast. of shark, bro. <laughs> there was a sign in the crowd that said Cactus Sack is a juggalo. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Take that guy's sign. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, Cat and Jack mentions all his accolades, including yes. King of the Japanese Deathmatch and, and bestseller yeah, Ravioli Guy. Cole, Michael Cole says he's done it all, and Lawler says, "Time to quit." <laughs> 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 that was fucked up. <laughs> 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 this is the promo before his potential last match of his career. Of all time. <laughs> That's so oh. beast. Oh my god. Wow. It's crazy that Mick is talking about retiring in 2000. Holy fucking shit, I know, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. Uh, Mick basically says he's done with the comedy horse shit. <laughs> he does. Yeah, I thought of Tony immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm Cactus Jack, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't want people to laugh. I'm Cactus Jack, bitch. I, and I watch this fight. <laughs> yeah, Mick then buries Joe Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> this dude oh, was a does. bitch. Fuck. And I, I didn't want to be a bitch. Way. You guys remember the thriller in Manila? Yeah, yeah. Joe Frazier sucks. <laughs> This dude tapped He sat on a stool. This man sat on a stool. I don't want to sit on a stool. Stool kid never leaves a stool. <laughs> Mick talks about his Hell in a Cell match against Taker and how much it fucked him up long ways. Yeah, I got tooths and stuff. Uh, Mick says, it was without a doubt the worst beating in my life and without a doubt the greatest day in my career. He said, I got my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Lawler is just like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mick is one of the greatest promo guys ever. Yeah, this is actually like a really fucking good promo here. We cannot do it justice. That's why, you know, yeah, there's no, not, yeah. we can't be Mick Foley. There's only five, there's yeah. only one. Cactus Jack, of course. <laughs> Mick says the two greatest things he has in his life are his name and his word. And Cactus says he gave his word on national television that if he failed to beat Triple H, then his wrestling days are over. When he steps into the hell in a cell at No Way Out, he is fully prepared for that to be the final match of his career. Yep. Uh, Cat mm-hmm. says he won't guarantee a win this Sunday, but he will end his career swinging and not sitting on a <laughs> stool like <laughs> shitty Joe <laughs> Frazier. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck I bought that, that fight loser. for way too much money, and I fucking can't believe what I saw. 
I th- did they say he only watched it recently? So he like yeah. tape traded for it? <laughs> what do you think yeah. he traded yeah, yeah, for yeah, it? Yeah. The 95 <laughs> Japanese Dead Man's tournament. Fucking <laughs> the IWA? Yeah. The- <laughs> Take this shit out. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, give me that. Uh, fantastic promo here. Um, obviously, as we, you know, watch it back in time, um, we know Mick's career very much does not end here. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no way. It's funny that he says, I have my word that I will do this. Uh-huh. He's, yep. He wrestled. I watch him wrestle live 10 years later. <laughs> <laughs> he won the TNA title. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Forever. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Stephanie is at the top of the ramp as Katniss is leaving here. Cut the music. And Stephanie, man. Wow. She looks she, yeah. great. Good, it's cold good, in here. Good for her. Good for her. And me. Stephanie says cat just cost five thousand dollars <laughs> worth of damage to the DX Express. You lunatic, <laughs> you fucking maniac. Stephanie says she paid over three hundred and fifty thousand oh dollars for that bus. Holy hell, man. King said, Hey, that was her money too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Stephanie tells Cat is Jack that you know what you don't have to pay me back because you're gonna pay with your fucking life against Triple H now in the cell. I'm gonna kill you. Bitch. That's awesome. Yeah. And also you're arrested. <laughs> Plus hell. <laughs> <laughs> I have a warrant for your arrest and you're gonna fucking pay tonight. Here comes the cops and they arrest him. They and arrest Triple Katniss H- Jack. <laughs> they arrest him right there and then Triple H comes out to music. What the fuck? <laughs> so Katniss Jack is put into a holding cell in the arena by the cops. The cops are apologizing and say, sorry we have to do this, but instead of taking you downtown, we need you to step into this holding area. <laughs> Now, I was very worked here. I will be honest with you. I was super worked. The holding cell at the arena. <laughs> that's, I, was like, that's, I was like, why the fuck is there a cell in this arena? I couldn't put two and two together. I just figured it was a shark <laughs> tank when I saw it. Immediately. <laughs> shark tank? <laughs> you know, the shark tank they use in sure, WWE. Yeah, I figured yeah. it was the same thing. So it cuts to Jonathan Coachman. He says, Kane was saved from the fire by his mask. He got second degree burns on his neck and he has vision problems. And his nipples. But, but, I, <laughs> but ironically enough, it may be the mask that covers the scars on his face that saved him from a more serious injury. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what if X-Pac did that to Rikishi's ass? <laughs> it would have went back to his face. <laughs> Rikishi would have farted. farted. <laughs> Flames would have been called Tori because she's not moving out she of the way. She won't get out of the fucking way. Holy fuck. Shows a replay. We need those deadlock boys. Stat. <laughs> They're cooking up some good shit. Here. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> those boys are cooking on that podcast. <laughs> that show's good. <laughs> You're not fucking Daniel Garcia, though. No, fuck that. You're not fucking Daniel Garcia. <laughs> Remind me why Tony Khan's book at the Attitude Era again? Because <laughs> he was in the crowd watching. He was watching, bro. He's one of us, man. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, he was knew. also thinking this shit, man. It was, you yeah, know, it was yeah. sad. Yeah, Rikishi's ass is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you guys talk and I just black out. I don't know what's yeah, going me on too. Yeah, that's how I feel currently. I just be talking, man. <laughs> <laughs> so Triple H visits Katniss in his holding cell. Yeah, he said, hey, how's it going? With <laughs> pizza. Dude, what in the f- this, is the mo- this is the worst part of the show. Oh, no, wait. The, step- the pizza thing's just after this. But Triple H says, hey, how's it going? Cactus, how about you come out here and find And Cactus says, hey, when you come out here and find out. And then the cops give Triple H the fucking keys oh, and then that's leave. Right, that's right, yeah. Like, oh, no. He's okay. asked for the keys and the cops go, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, you go. Well, he, he, he throws in that one line. He says, check the envelopes, boys. You know, like he gave uh, him a little something. The something. Of yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, and, the house and then is we up, go, man. We go, <laughs> we go to commercial. Then we come back. Stephanie is eating pizza in front of the holding cell. But this pizza is the worst looking pizza I've ever seen in my How fucking life. How the fuck do you order pizza that fast? <laughs> and she's eating it out of just the fucking... She's holding the whole box. She already she, ate half of it. And then she half of it's gone. Maybe it's a little Caesar, you know? You get that whole box of pizza for like $5. It's hot and ready. The Little Caesars? 
Yeah, oh that's probably what it was. I want Little Caesars right now. I love. I'm big Holy cheesy bread guy. You fuck. like the cheesy bread from Little yes, Caesars? Yes, dude. That's wow, so that good. Fucking the deep awesome. dish fucking stuffed crust goes crazy. Too. Wow, I've never man. had yeah, that. They, wow. Yo, they have. Uh, they yeah. That, I think I had that recently. I think after a Chicago trip, actually, I saw the deep that deep dish pepperoni on that some bitch. Yeah, Whoa. they do it good out there. I mean, it's true. I'm a I'm a Little Caesars guy. I represent the Little Caesar. Uh, Bubba Ray Dudley versus Billy Gunn. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the crowd also has no clue either. Mr. Ass. His name is officially Mr. Ass here. No, There's oh, only yes. one Mr. Ass on this show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh. so, like, Bubba's out here with Devon, and Devon, for the first minute and a half of this match, is in the match. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Right. called it when Paul Bearer attacked Tori, who yes. neither of them were in the match. No. But he doesn't call it here when Devon, Devon's just involved in the match. Devon's getting beat up, and then Billy Gunn whips Devon into Bubba in the corner. Then Bubba falls head first on a Devon's cock and balls. That's another low blow for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I don't know what we're at now. To be honest, with you. too many, too fucking many. Um, but yeah, so Devon's in the match. Bubba bumps and feeds a bunch. Um, Billy goes for the famouser. Bubba reverses into the fallout bomb, which I thought Cane was cool. bomb. Yes, I was like, whoa, that's awesome. Um, Bubba goes off the second, but misses. Senton. Um, he never hits a second rope senton. I don't think I've ever seen him ever hit that fucking thing. Uh, Billy Gunn hits the jackhammer, and then they just straight up call it. It's a jackhammer. He did the goes, stinger splash, and then the jackhammer. He did the WCW <laughs> special. Yeah. <laughs> it goes for the famous but Devon pulls down the ropes. Fucking brutal fall here. Falls DQ. right over the fucking rope. <laughs> yeah, now it's a DQ. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, Devon then throws him into the steps and gets a table. Uh, they set up the table in the ring. Devon hits the inverted <laughs> impaler. This is this is so crazy. This fucking how they get to this. Is yeah, it's fucked here. up. What the fuck? So, <laughs> Bubba, they set the table up. Bubba stands on the table. I don't. You know, what in the you know the, the what patented three D that he does from the table. <laughs> what possibly could he be going for here, man? What in the world was he they, thinking? They said we got three minutes. They just fucking figure it out. <laughs> Stay on the table. He just, Bubba's never once stood on a table like that ever in his life. No. Stay on the table. <laughs> Road dog comes down. Low blows. God Bubba damn it! <laughs> on the table. Low, low blows, blows him yes. on the table. This uh, is crazy. And then Billy. <laughs> decides as he sees Bubba on the table leaned over that he's going to hit a leaping famouser from the mat to Bubba's head uh, through the and, table. And it worked. And it was awesome. It, it was insane. Holy yeah. shit. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what in the fuck, dude? But I have no idea what Bubba was doing up there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Neither does he. I no know. I think Billy smashed his cocky balls. He's on his cock after this when he was going to the back. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, that's Damn the list. It. Low blow himself. Uh, backstage segment, Triple H and Stephanie are still fucking with Katniss in the holding cell. You, you're you going to skip the smack of the night? Presented oh my God, by was there a smack of the night? I smack of the night presented by milk. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> let let me guess. guess what it was. Yeah, was it guess. the fucking DX Express? Something it was other? not. It was, it was Mick Foley being arrested. <laughs> oh, <great>. What a <laughs> smack. <laughs> That's the free Got for milk, all the week. Gulp it down. <laughs> That's the team slayer of the week. A lot week. of people need to be reminded to drink milk. How is it a smack of the night? <laughs> we got arrested. Whatever. Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, Triple H then has him in the holding cell and starts walking around him, kicks down the wall, tears what down the, the ceiling. <laughs> Mick is just fuck? in a shark cage. See yeah, you, fourth what wall. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Triple H told him before all kidding aside, that was a heck of a promo. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, it was pretty good, though. <laughs> Thanks for selling this match. I'm going to beat you, but it was a good yeah. fucking promo. I'm winning so bad. The DX Express is chained up to the shark cage, and it seems like they're going to drag him, but they just... Cut away. <laughs> cut away. We got a main event. Sorry. What the? F why did, why did they save that for the end? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why did they just do that whole thing at the end? I, I get the idea of trying to catch the viewer, but to keep them. No. Oh, one, yeah. To see what the, where it's going to go. No friends. The Rock and no. Sock. We're done with that. Rock and Sock. We're done with that. <laughs> Al, <laughs> Al, Al. We're done with that. Anybody? Where's no the friends, too cool? Oh, well, I guess they took out Rikishi, but where's the too I'm, cool at? I'm also trying to visualize how they fucking got to this fake room and Foley didn't know it was a parking lot. Like I don't understand where <laughs> they took, how they got him in here, and what where door well, they came through. Notoriously, Mick, Mick Foley is a dumb bastard. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a ravioli guy. Yeah. Fuck. Wrote a book. So the main event, Chris Jericho and The Rock versus Kurt Angle in the big show. Which is a big fucking match, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Jericho and Kurt start off fast as hell here. 
Um, Jericho hits Welcome to Chicago for a two. Yes. Uh, the Rock hits a spine buster with the Big Show, which looked yeah, really cool. Yeah, that was cool. cool and he, he closed line Kurt and then punches Big Show in the balls. <laughs> this is like the third time I've seen him do this. This is just a straight up Rock spot at the time. He would it's just blame. split him up, just <laughs> punch him right in the dick. <laughs> Blatant. Was the ref even distracted? The ref was distracted. I okay. went back and checked because okay. I was Good. also wondering. Yeah, sure. the ref was distracted. Okay. Um, but yeah, just straight up punches Big Show into cock and balls. <laughs> there was one he did on the ramp to like Booker T or something where oh my, he worked. It was, it was the Booker's... other way around, wasn't it? He was like standing over him and pulled his legs apart. He like, yeah, he really got in there and they gave him a fucking work punch. <laughs> the fucking, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, Big Show gorilla press slams Jericho into fucking space Dude. here. He squat press landed him. It looked crazy. Uh, Kurt Angle sets up for a Canadian destroyer, but the Rock <laughs> stopped him. <laughs> oh, what was he right. going for? Here? I don't think it was Bubba, Bubba's table move. He what did was... like the like he was on the like Rikishi driver. I don't know what was <laughs> yeah, going on. Yeah, I don't know what here. was going on. Yeah. Uh, the Rock sets up for the People's Elbow facing the crowd. Yes. God, that's so much fucking better. The it crowd is. reacting to him and the hard cam getting the crowd reaction is way better. And seeing, seeing the rock's rock. face. Yes, I agree. It's, I mean, it's that's the, such it's, like a dude. It's the fucking people's elbow. <laughs> like, why, look taught, at the people. That's taught so much. Like the uh, the hard cam shit. Yeah, the hard cam shit. I know. It's just like, man, when you're like, it's what I I'm, get it. It's yes. become like a trope in wrestling. Sure. But like, dude, playing to the crowd is so much more fun. I mean, than, I don't, I don't even know why that started. Like, even as a viewer at home. I much prefer seeing the, like, if the crowd at the show is super into it and you're playing to the crowd at the show, I enjoy it just as much. Yeah, I know yeah. you, I'm, I don't, it's, I don't need to be involved. I'm at home. <laughs> it's a WWE thing that, like, a lot of, they, it just got passed down. It became down the standard. Yeah. Because, I mean, they teach you that in wrestling school, too. Sure. It's just like, what's the point? What, like, what, yeah. why? I don't know. I, I don't yeah. agree with that, uh. If you're playing any camera, probably not the hard. If especially because a lot of those guys, they'll like be in a move and then turn, you know, all the way yeah. around. Yeah, and it's just like, man, yeah. is it really? Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. It's so not um, natural, man. No, it looks corny as fuck. Um, Jericho hits a missile drop kick off the top, but Big Show gives him the biggest fuck Woo! you choke slam ever. I wrote full cap showstopper. Oh, <laughs> that was rough, man. That looked great. Um, China hits Big Show with a chair, but he no sells it and goozles her. Yeah, well, disqualification. <laughs> fuck Get you. this match out of here. If there's ever the Rock main event on Raw or SmackDown, it's gone. The match yeah. is done. In or Austin, really, but yeah. Uh, the Rock saves her and attacks Big Show. Gives him a big rock bottom, Look man. Look yeah. great. Uh, Jericho locks Big Show in the Lion Tamer, which is insane. Holy Looked shit. Looked awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see him do it to big dudes like that very no often. And have cool. Big Show screaming like a little bitch, too. That was... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, I, man. And honestly, Lion Tamer style might actually be easier for him to do on the Big Show than like trying to boss the yeah, big I probably. Always heard, probably. I always heard he switched because it was harder doing big guys, but it looked great here. I don't know. Yeah, it did. Um, Big Show chases Rock up the ramp as Jericho runs back in the ring to attack Kurt Angle. China is beating up Kurt as well. <laughs> yeah, China has like a DDT on Kurt or something. Yeah. And Jericho well, yeah. locks in the walls on Kurt here. Look great too. Yeah, the ref's trying um, to break it up. They're just Jer Kurt's just getting his ass whooped. No one's watching because they want to see what the Rock's doing. <laughs> uh, Rock and Show then fight backstage. Yes. And now Rock is throwing Big Show into shit. Big Show throws Rock into a loading door, yes. and then he throws fucking Rocky through the glass pane. Dude, holy fuck. What the fuck. shit? I popped so crazy for that. He just throws him right through a fucking window, and then it pans up, and Triple H and Stephanie are in the other room laughing. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> that was this so was, awesome. That was it, so it was honestly good. perfect. I loved it. Oh, my God. It was so good. It pans up, and then just goes straight to the next camera. It was and it's great. like, we're right back to where we were before with, yeah. oh, man. These shows were so thought out, man. It's yeah. like, oh, man. I don't even... I, Wrestling died a long time ago. <laughs> Triple H and St <laughs> Triple H and Stephanie are, are fucking right there. This is so sick. Triple H and Stephanie then get in the DX Express and they fucking tell Drive guys the you're damn gonna, bus. You're Let's gonna go fucking for a ride. Die. <laughs> they I loved how this looked, by the way. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Because they're dragging Cactus and you get the fucking sparks coming off the ground because yes. it's steel yeah. cage. And Cactus is fucking hanging on so He's he doesn't get on for his life off the ground. Yes. And it's it looks great. They are just dragging this fucking thing 
Uh, behind the DX Express, yeah, James said, Sparks fucking everywhere. Cactus is holding onto the top of it to try to keep his ass and feet from touching <laughs> the fucking floor. And then as the scene goes, like, it's driving out, no. it's just about to fade out, some no. random fucking dude walks into the shower. No. Oh, no. He's <laughs> just hanging out. He's just, Why you on? fucking do that shit, he man? Doesn't, he's not even caring. You're he's not fucking looking. super fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you knew. What I was You're super fine. You are dead, actually. We're actually going to run that back, and we're putting you in there without the case. Oh, shit. <laughs> and Joe Swanson. Yeah. It, it, it cuts away, and as it's cutting away, Michael Cole, I have a feel like Vince is like trying to feed as much information to Michael Cole as he yeah. can at one time. He goes, Triple H is dragging Cat is Jack straight to, straight to hell. <laughs> Hell in a cell! <laughs> <laughs> he does say that. Ski well, we gotta go. So Hell in, in a cell! In, in kayfabe, did they just drive all the way to No Way Out like this? With Cactus there? I nev they never follow up on that shit. Yeah, I don't know, actually. <laughs> that would have been sweet if DX Express pulls up, Foley's in there. With, with Cactus. <laughs> I know yeah. it. That's how the match starts. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Oh, man. What a... This is so 2000. This Dang is it, it. Dang it, it. <laughs> This is fucking Dude, sweet, every time man. I see this era, I always remember Jericho is supposed to be the main event at WrestleMania 2000. Holy shit. That's what happened? So weird. Uh, Vince said, fuck that guy. I like Cactus Jack back, please. Yeah, that's what well, happened. Fuck yeah. I mean, you can't cut that promo <laughs> and be like, you know what I mean? Like, god damn. That, uh, Cactus that... is one of the best ever, man. Hell yeah, man. I mean, and... Vince was like, ah, he should have had his WrestleMania moment. And then, you know, he loses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that episode of SmackDown, by the way, did a 4.93 with a 7 share. Uh, opposed to that was WCW Thunder uh, that did its lowest on... Oh, this was not opposed. Sorry. This was on 12, uh, 223. So this was Wednesday. Uh, did its lowest unopposed number ever with a 2.03 <laughs> rating and a 3.1 share. Getting quote-unquote, blasted by the high ratings of both the Grammys and Millionaire. The show's low point was actually the Sid versus Luger main event at 1.81, and the high point was Flair versus Vampiro <laughs> at 2.26. Vampiro was the high point. What the hell is this show? Hold on. I, you, I, got, I need to actually Flair look. What, what the fuck is That's this so show? Sick. What else is on this? Hold on. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, oh, is this the right one? Uh, February... What date was it? 23rd? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fit Finley beat Evan Courageous in a hardcore match. La Parka beat Berlin. Buff Bagwell beat David Flair. Tank Abbott beat Mike Jones. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Vampiro beat Ric Flair via reverse decision. <laughs> what the huh. fuck? The artist formerly known as Prince Ikea defeated Crowbar to retain the cruiserweight title. The Wall defeats Disco Inferno. The Harris brothers beat Booker T and Billy Kidman, and Sid Vicious beat the total package via DQ. How long was Thunder? Was Thunder a two-hour show? Yeah, it was two hours, I think. Wasn't oh, wow. It? Why? I always thought it was an hour for some reason. Yeah, wow, okay. Wow, yeah, that show sounds like fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Smackdown. That was cool. Whoa.